What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we got everybody's favorite apple. We are rocking out with Hydra Apple in Ranked Regulation app. Now, Hydra Apple, really cool Pokemon, evolved from Diplin, I believe? Or does it evolve from Apple? One or the other, it's another evolution to the Apple family, has Regenerator and the Assault Vest in today's video, so we can soak up some special attacking shots, and furthermore, if we swap this Pokemon out, we are going to get some HP back when we hop back into battle. More importantly, we're rocking out with its signature move, Fickle Beam, which is a sick move that is pretty much RNG base. It's like 70 base dragon damage move, but occasionally it hits for double damage for like 140. We love that. We love that. So occasionally we're going to get a nice little RNG boost. Fickle Beam's going to go for an all out attack and it's going to do some massive damage. This Pokemon also has other moves such as Giga Drain, Pollen Puff, which is solid for, you know, HP recovery on allied Pokemon. And last but not least, it has Earth Power for coverage. But as you guys can tell, this team is pretty much a Trick Room team, right? We got Porygon 2 in the top left hand corner, two Pop Trick Room, and then we also have Arachnid and King Gambit, two slower Pokemon that hit really, really hard. So they're going to be able to thrive out in Trick Room. Our final two Pokemon on today's team is going to be Incineroar, a great Pokemon to fake out and lower attack stats. And then last but not least, we got Choice Specs Fluttermane, who's going to be able to hit like a truck, outspeed early on in the game without Trick Room. Or if we want to, we could pop Trick Room with it. It does have Trick Room. So if we need to, Fluttermane's got it. If we don't need to, then we're not going to do it. But still, love it so much. Cannot wait to showcase this team. If you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. If you guys want to rent this team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner. But without further ado, let's showcase Hydrapple in ranked regulation F. Hopping into our first match for today's video, and we're going up against a Raikou team. Pretty dope. They also have King Gambit, just like us, the rocking out with the Moongus, Landers in his incarnate form, and then they got Primarina and Golden Go. So we definitely want to pop Trick Room. Trick Room is going to be our best friend. So I am going to lead P2 here and try to get this rolling. A Pokemon that I am worried about is going to be Moongus, considering they could just spore me, and we don't like that. So honestly, Hydrapple is going to be pretty good. I don't mind Hydrapple. You dodge spores with that. You can also do some big time damage. I do like that. But the Pokemon I am going to end up leading with. P2 is probably going to be my King Gambit. I do like having King Gambit. Especially if they lead, say, like something like Golden Go. We could then just go into... Oh, wait a minute. If they lead a Moongus, they can just spore me. They could just spore me. So maybe we want to go into a Fake Out user. Fake Out user's not bad. Yeah, I think we have to guarantee getting off Trick Room. We got to go Incineroar and P2. We have to go into both of them. So that's going to be my lead here. We're going to bring Hydrapple and I believe King Gambit in the back end. Yeah. We simply just can't allow them to just spore me and not allow me to get off Trick Room, right? That's what sucks, man. Trick Room always goes last, even though Amoongus is so much slower. He'll still be able to spore me, put me to sleep, so... We're gonna have to go into the Fake Out user just to play it safe here. So we're gonna Fake Out, we're gonna look to get off Trick Room, have our Trick Room users in the back end, and really start to get after it. But they're gonna end up leading Golden Go and Amoongus, so good thing I did end up leading these two. Beautiful. Lovely. So, 100% have to fake out. We have to fake out the Moongus. It's an absolute must. So, we're going to fake out a Moongus. We're going to look to get off Trick Room. Um, and just go from there. Yeah, Trick Room. Fake out. It's a must. Or I could just taunt it. I could taunt it. Or I could taunt it next turn. I mean, taunting it would be so good right now. Because, and the reason I say that is because then we don't have to worry about Spore next turn. So, I'm actually just going to taunt it right here. I doubt your mental herb, so yeah, I'm going for the taunt. Right here, right now, we're going to end up seeing a Terra type pop out here from Golden Go. Probably a Steel type, right? He's stealing up. Now they're going for Fairy, even better. Just a little Fairy Terra type popping out here. That's fine. I didn't want Steel to make it rain, just drop and trying to take out my P2. And he's going to set up a nasty spot. Okay, Supply is flying. Not that big of a deal. We are going to be able to taunt you. I'm not dealing with you. There's no way you're mental herb, right? There's just no shot. Cool. And yeah, he's going for a sport. So sport tries to pop out here. Trick room is here. So yeah, rather than fake out, taunt was definitely the play because say I would have faked him out there, trick room would have been out, and then he could have still sported me. So now we have that going. Um I'm gonna have to start going after this gold to go. I could flare blitz it, I could do a lot. I mean Can't start Amoongus is, is gonna swap. But we have to start getting off some damage into this slot. But honestly, I'm thinking of just parting shotting. Just so I can save for later. Maybe just getting out King Gambit here. Maybe even High Trippy Drapple. So there's the Witchall of the Moongus. No big deal. 
I can't see him make it rain popping out here. I'm gonna see Primarina come out here, which we do have Thunderbolt, which is nice. Thunderbolt's gonna fly in this slot. Not bad damage. And Parting Shot is out and about. And you have good as gold. What am I doing? What am I doing? Seriously, what am I doing? Luckily, he's going for another nasty spot. We should just Flare Blitz in that slot. And honestly, let's just double down in that slot. What am I doing? What am I doing? We have to double down in that slot. Flare Blitz, Thunderbolt. Send it. Send it. What am I doing with the Parting Shots? I always forget about some Pokemon's ability. Every here and there. And right now, it's just a time. The Prima Arena ends up protecting, seeing that we have Thunderbolt, which is nice. We're gonna end up going for a Thunderbolt back into the Golden Ghost slot, shipping it up, and fingers crossed for Flare Blitz to KO. I think it should, right? And this guy going for a double nasty spot really just kind of bit him. And they cancel the match. Cool. Sweet. That's on you. You shouldn't have went for the double nasty spot. But hey, we'll take this first match. We'll make you quit. We're one to know. We love making opponents quit. We absolutely love it. Even though I made a terrible play going for parting shot in the Golden Go, forgetting about its ability, it's all good. He ended up going for a double nasty pot for some reason. Then we just doubled down into the uh, the Golden Go. They ended up protecting Prima Arena. And then our opponent was like, nah, yo, I'm done. Not playing this game anymore. Turn off their console. We love it. But we're going up against a Shen Pao and Urshfu team here in match number two. They also have Ferrigarath to potentially counter our Trick Room. That is a possibility. And then furthermore, they do have... Hmm, Landorus and Sinisha. So yeah, they can counter Trick Room pretty easily here, right? Incineroar is going to be terrible. We don't want Incineroar here, but I do want to lead P2. Do I lead Fluttermane instead? Maybe just go for like a Fluttermane Trick Room? That's not a bad play for us. If we go P2, it just screams, hey, I'm going to Trick Room, right? It just screams it. It just screams it. I might go Fluttermane trying to get off this trick room. So I'm going to go into both of these guys. I'm going to bring Hydrapple, and I am going to bring Arachnid in the back end. That's going to be the play. Let's look to get after. Let's look to get after. But I wonder who they're going to leave. Because the thing is with Fluttermane here, I'm choice spec So I don't want to choice spec into a trick room. But that's going to be my play. I'm going to choice spec into a trick room. And then we're going to be forced to hard swap. Or I can be forced to just let it die out. But at that point, we might pop another trick room. I don't know. But they go Urshfu and Frigraph, which I don't mind. Water Urshfu flies through here. Um, actually, a little tough. It is a little tough. I could end up just swapping you into something else because I don't think you take too kindly to a Surging Strikes, right? I could just attack. I could just attack. I could just go for Dazzling Gleam here. Or Moonblast and Swords Dance. That's going to be my play. Moonblast, Swords Dance here. That's going to be my play. If you Terrasilize, you Terrasilize. That could be tough news, but hopefully they just pop the Trick Room on their own. Rigraph's going to end up protecting. No Terra comes out, which we love. Better not be Choice. You're not Choice. Moonblast should KO. Get it on out of here. And that's a solid turn for us. That's a solid turn for us. Rather than popping Trick Room, now we get off a Swords Dance King Gambit. We should potentially just swap. We should potentially just swap our Fluttermain here just so we can have Trick Room support later. And we'll see who they go into. Because depending on who they go into, we'll be who we swap into. Because I'm going to need Fluttermain to pop Trick Room later in the match, right? But getting rid of Urshu is massive. I could stay in here and just throw Moonblast. But Landers is going to be the Pokemon that comes out here. So ground moves, not a fan. And we get Defiant Boost. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So yeah, Hydrapple probably going to be the Pokemon that we go into. Hydrippy Drapple. Yeah, I'm going to swap into Hydrapple. I'm going to Terrasilize into Fairy Typing. It just seems like the best bet. And we're just going to go for a Kaltau Cleave in this slot. Yeah, I like that play. I like that play. I like it all day. I like it all day. So they don't know that my Flutter main is Choice Spec. So we're forced to swap. If it wasn't, I would just love to pop a, a Trick Room there, but I have to swap it there. And they're going to end up Terrasilizing just like us. So probably Furigraph gets a Terra type, thinking we're going for a Dark move into that slot. And no, it's going to be Lando. He's going to go into Steel Terra type. A little bit of Steel action. Probably going after my Hydrapple. But in this case, I can just swap Hydrapple out and regenerate some HP back, which can be good. But we're forced to actually... 
go into a nice level of terror type here, considering considering we are weak to ground and I'm just not dealing with it, right? I have a plus three gamble ready to go. Ready to go. Terror Blast gonna fly. We did swap into Hydrapple, which I don't mind. And you should soak this decently well. Yeah, cool. Hydrapple, we love you. Dazzle Gleam gonna also fly. That's looking a little scary on Hydrapple. And we might just want to hard swap Hydrapple. Got that Cleave coming across. And it's dropping Lando. It is dropping Lando. So honestly, we might as well just stay on the field with Hydrippy Drapple. And maybe try to pick up some damage. If it dies, it dies. I mean, King Gambit's gonna carry us to victory here, it looks like. King Gambit, that was just such a solid turn for us in turn one. He's gonna intimidate us again. What are we, plus four? Are we plus four? Getting out of hand at this point. It's getting real out of hand. It's getting real out of hand. So from here, we are simply just going to, um, good attack. I think we just start throwing some fickle beams on the board. And I'm gonna attack for a rare. I'm just gonna protect you because if you're gonna fake out anybody, it's gonna be King Gambit, let's be honest here. If you're gonna fake out anybody, it's gonna be my plus four attack King Gambit. So let's see how this one plays out here. Yeah, see? All day. Pretty simple read. Our opponent's getting angry now. We're just killing it today. Fickle Beam's gonna fly here. It's not an all-out attack. It does do some decent damage, which we love. And this thing ends up popping a Trick Room. Thank you? That's more beneficial for me, right? How slow are my Pokemon? My Pokemon gotta be slow. 65 and 70? I'm cool with that. Now from here, we're just gonna rip another Fickle Beam and we're just gonna go for a Cataclysm. Cleave. As much as I wanna go for Sucker Punches, we can't. They got Armor Tail thriving. Fickle Beam flies out here. Doing decent damage again. Cataclysm. Cleave. I don't know why they set up the Trick Room. Dumb idea. My team is a Trick Room team. It's a Trick Room team. And we're just killing it. We're just killing it right now. Player Blitz flies through here. It's going to go after King Gambit. He's able to soak. And now that is game, set, match. We're just going to go for another Fickle Beam. Hopefully get an all-out attack. But most likely, honestly, it's not very sucker. Or not very effective sucker punch. It's going to KO. But they end up just canceling. So 2-0. and oh, We are dominating with this Trick Room team today. Moving on to our final match for today's video. Looking to go 3-0. Looking to grab our perfect record. But we are going up against a pretty standard team right here. They got Amoongus for support. They're all also rocking out with Golden Go. They got the Shen Pao Urshifu combo. And then furthermore, they got Raging Bolt and Incineroar. So we need to pop Trick Room. We need to pop Trick Room. So Trick Room is going to be our friend. We might just want to go into P2 Incineroar again. Considering like in the first match, I think it was. Yeah, in the first match, they had Amoongus and they just kind of try to spore me so i like going into these two going high drippy drapple in the back end and last but not least we gotta go king gambit man king gambit's just so good it is just such a powerful pokemon so ridiculously strong as you guys seen in the last match it's just top tier it's just top tier speaking of top tier generation 9 pokemon i have a big video coming out soon actually going to be finishing up recording today with it just got to go through the edits it's going to be like kind of like if you guys ever watch wolfie's videos kind of style like that so hopefully you guys are very excited for it i've been working on it for a few weeks now so hopefully if you guys do enjoy it we'll just keep making more of them it's going to be like a lot of editing it's going to be like an information based video again hopefully you guys are excited for it but this content is not going anywhere for right now so we're just going to keep thriving with this they end up going amoongus and golden ghost same lead as the other person and from here, we're just going to pop Trick Room, and we're just going to straight up taunt again. I mean, it's pretty standard. We have to do this. We have to do this. We have to do this. And honestly, good for me to lead the same lead, thinking that there's a chance that they lead the same lead. So, Amoongus comes out here. They're going to Terrastalize Golden Go? Just fair. If this is Fairy Golden Go, no, it's going to be Amoongus. He's going to Terrastalize into Water type. Which is totally fine. I was going to say, if this is Fairy Terror type Golden Goat, then it's probably the same guy. But no, this is not the same person. He ends up going for the Water Terror type and going for Nick. Is this the same opponent? Is this potentially the same opponent? Nasty plotting out here. Just like the other one. We end up doing that. Now Trick Room is here. Now we get off Trick Room and I have Thunderbolt ready to rock. Flare Blitz Thunderbolt, I love it. Don't gotta tell me twice. Thunderbolt popping out here. Flare Blitz flying onto the other slot. We love it. We love it. So now we got Trick Room set up, which is gorgeous. Golden Go is gonna end up protecting. You can't spore me, which is good news for me. You cannot spore me. I have you taunted. You got Sludge Bomb. 
which actually not gonna lie doing more damage than I think an Amoongus could do Flare Blitz gonna get blocked I know he's very scared right now I know he doesn't really know what to do you can't rage powder either so I'm just gonna spam another one of these throw them both onto the field here and see what they're gonna do let's see let's see what they got they swap Golden Goal, definitely parting shot maybe next turn. Yep, and they are going to swap Golden Go, which is totally fine. They swap Golden Go. Raging Bolt's going to fly through. I'm going to parting shot into that next turn, dropping it to minus one. And Sludge Bomb's just going to keep flying into Incineroar. Now we're half health, and you just gave me my berry. Thank you very much. Incineroar was getting hungry regardless, so thanks for allowing him to eat up his berry. Thunderbolt's going to keep flying. P2 doing some damage. Get that Amoongus all in out of here. So we KO in the Amoongus. Pretty massive for us. Um, we want to get out our Trick Room Pokemon, such as Hydrapple and King Gambit. So, I think now is a good time to just parting shot. Flare Blitz going to fly. Actually, chunk up maybe a little bit of damage. Not bad. Actually, that's pretty bad. <laughs> but we do get a burn. We love it. That's actually good now. The damage, not good. The burn, very good. We love it. We love burns. So, the burn coming out here, chipping up damage. I wonder if they're going to bring back out. Golden go and they're not they're gonna go into earth Street, which is totally fine because now i'm just gonna parting shot here and go into hydrapple and honestly ice beam's not bad i can just go thunderbolt here thunderbolt parting shot let's get on out of here and i'd rather send parting shot into the raging bolt slot and the reason i say that is because earth Street has surge strikes it's just gonna crit regardless i'd rather pass this on over here but now's a good time to bring out Hydrapple. Because if they're going for Surge of Strikes in this slot, they could be going for close combat, let's be honest here. They could be going for close combat, which I don't mind if you KO my P2 here. Because then I just get to bring out King Gambit. But if they are going Surge of Strikes into Incineroar slot, we get to soak all day. <clears throat> but instead, Snarl pops out here. Ooh, that's a little ugly. That's a little ugly. Snarl. We don't like that. Surge of Strikes is going to pop out here. Hydrippy Trap. Resist that four times. Look at him soaking. That did eight damage. That one just did 8 damage. 8 damage per Surgeon Strikes. Have you seen less damage dealt from Surgeon Strikes? I don't think so. I don't think so. So Burn's going to chip up a little bit. We are minus 1 on the Hydrippy Drapple. How many turns are left in Trick Room is a real question. 1. Then it might protect out, which wouldn't be that big of a deal. And from here, I'm just going to go Ice Beam and go for Giga Drain. Definitely my best bet. And the thing here is, they might protect the Urshifu. I could see that. If they don't, we just KO, which is huge. No, they're going to withdraw Urshifu and go into Golden Go. So Golden Go comes out here. And Giga Drain going to fly, do like negative damage. We do get back a little bit of HP. And I wonder what Raging Bolt's going to do here. They have a Regenerator, which is nice. Ice Beam going to fly. Imagine we get... A freeze on top of burn that'd be immaculate but now they're in a decent position actually p2 soaked rather well p2 soaked rather well p2 definitely soaked rather well so we have to go for another trick room um yeah and we're gonna have to swap hydra apple to to you or king gambit i love having sucker punch on the field we're gonna swap hydra apple out here Bring it back up to full HP with the Regenerator. They're going to end up swapping Raging Bolts. That's totally fine. I can Sucker Punch if I need to. And Urshifu is going to come out here. So as long as... As long as P2 soaks whatever Golden Go has to offer. I mean, you can't Terrastalize for a boost in damage. The best move would be, like, make it rain. Yeah, and I think P2 can soak. And it does. It's just so perfect. It's just so perfect. Now your special attack is minus one. You're going to lose some HP due to Life Orb. And Trick Room is back out and about. We love it. We love it. So the parting shot actually helped us out tremendously. So that Draco Meteor really didn't do too much. Um, he could go for a first turn priority move if he wants to. But honestly, I'm just going to... Actually, no. First turn priority moves aren't even going to KO any of my Pokemon. I'm just going to go for Thunderbolt here again. And I'm just going to go for a Caltech Leap. I mean, we outspeed, so... Smart play for us. And finally, they just cancel battle. We controlled that so well, and we go 3-0 with this Hydrapple Trick Room team. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. 3-0 perfect record, rocking out with King Gambit and Hydrapple Trick Room team. Those two were the MVPs today, picking up most of the KOs. We also had P2, Fluttermane, Papa Trick Room, definitely needed that, and Incineroar, going crazy with its fake outs. It's Taunts onto the Moongus, Flare Blitz doing some big time damage. 
we love it all around. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.